Welcome to pre-math. In this video tutorial, we have got system of these equations. As you can see over here, we got x plus y equals to 1 x square plus y square equals to 2 and now we are going to find the value of x power 11 plus y power 11. So let's go ahead and get started with the solution and since we are dealing with the big exponents 11 and 11 as you can see over here so we have to look for certain patterns to make our job simple. And now let's recall this famous formula a plus b square equal to a square plus twice a b plus b square and if I move this 2ab uh, on the left hand side so therefore I can write this one as a plus b square minus 2ab equals to a square plus b square on the right hand side and here I can nicely write it over here as you can see. And if we use the very same analogy we can write a power 4 plus b power 4 as a plus b square minus 2 times a square times b square and likewise a power 6 plus b power 6 could be written as a power 3 plus b power 3 whole square minus 2 times a cube times b cube and similarly a power 8 plus b power 8 as well as a power 10 plus b power 10. And just keep in your mind that we are dealing with the even exponents in all these uh, patterns. And in this next step we are going to deal with odd exponents. And now let me give you an example if I write down a plus b time a square plus b square and if we use a double distribution if we draw these uh, rainbows we can get a cube plus a b square plus a square b plus b cube and if we move this a b square and a square b on the left hand side and this way I have isolated a power 3 plus b power 3 as you can see and here I have wrote down this a power 3 plus b power 3 over here as you can see and if we use the same analogy over here a power 5 plus b power 5 we can write them as a square plus b square times a cube plus b cube minus a square b cube minus a cube b square and likewise we got the same patterns for a power 7 plus b power 7 a power 9 plus b power 9 and a power 11 plus b power 11 and here's going to be our strategy since we want to find the value of x power 11 plus y power 11 so we have to find the values of x power 5 plus y power 5 and x power 6 plus y power 6 by using uh, this formula and here's our very first step let's focus on this very first formula and here i have copied it down in terms of x and y variables now we can see on the left hand side x square plus y square is same as 2 and x plus y is same as 1. So therefore I'm going to replace x square plus y square as 2 on the left hand side and the right hand side x plus y is 1. So this becomes 1 square minus 2 times x y and here we can see that 1 square is same as 1 and then I move this 1 on the left hand side so we got 2 minus 1 equal to negative 2 times x y so this turns out to be 1 equals to negative 2 x y let's isolate x y by dividing both sides by negative 2 so therefore our x y value turns out to be this negative 2 and negative 2 is gone so we got negative 1 over 2 is our xy value and here is our next step let's go ahead and apply this a cube plus b cube formula and here I have copied it down in terms of x and y variables and now we can see between these two last two terms we can see that xy is in common and here in this next step I have factored out this 
x times y and we ended up with x plus y inside the parentheses and now we can see that x plus y in our case is 1 x square plus y square is 2 x times y is uh, negative 1 over 2 and once again x plus y is same as 1 so we're going to have x power 3 plus y power 3 equal to let's go ahead and substitute those values x plus y in our case is 1 x square plus y square is 2 minus and then uh, x y is negative 1 over 2 and x plus y is simply 1 and here if I multiply 2 times 1 is 2 then negative and negative become positive 1 over 2 so therefore our x cube plus y cube value turns out to be 2 plus a half is going to give us 5 over 2 and that is our x cube plus y cube value and in this next step let's focus on this next formula a power 5 plus b power 5 and here we have copied it down in terms of x and y variables and in this next step i have factored out x square y square from them because it's in common and we ended up with x plus y and now x square plus y square could be written as x y whole power 2 and now let's go ahead and find the value of x power 5 plus y power 5 and in our case x square plus y square value is 2 so I'm going to replace this one by 2 and then x cube plus y cube value is 5 over 2 I'm going to replace it by 5 over 2 minus x times y value in our case is negative 1 over 2 whole square and then x plus y value is 1 let me go ahead and replace that one and if we simplify all these steps we ended up with x power 5 plus y power 5 equal to 5 minus 1 over 4 and here copy it down and if we simplify furthermore we ended up with 19 over 4 so thus our x power 5 plus y power 5 value turns out to be 19 over 4 and here's our next step and let's focus on now a power 6 plus b power 6 formula and here I have copied it down in terms of x and y variables and in this next step I have wrote down this x power 3 y power 3 as x y and then power 3 and now let's go ahead and find the value of x power 6 plus y power 6 and we know our x power 3 plus y power 3 value is 5 over 2 so I'm going to write down 5 over 2 whole power 2 minus 2 time our x times y value is negative 1 over 2 and then power 3 and now after simplifying all these steps we ended up with x power 6 plus y power 6 equal to 25 divided by 4 plus 1 over 4 and here I have copied down if we simplify furthermore we ended up with x power 6 plus y power 6 equal to 13 over 2 and here is our final step let's focus on this formula a power 11 plus b power 11 and here I have copied it down in terms of x and y variables and now we can see between these last two terms x power 5 and y power 5 is in common so I brought it outside and in the parentheses we got x plus y and now x power 5 y power 5 could be written as x y whole power 5 now let's go ahead and find the value of x power 11 plus y power 11 so let's go ahead and find that one and we know that our x power 5 plus y power 5 value is 19 over 4 I am going to replace it by 19 over 4 times our x power 6 y power 6 value is 13 divided by 
2 minus x times y value is negative 1 over 2. So I can write negative 1 over 2 and then power 5. And finally, x plus y value is 1. So I'm going to replace it times 1. And after simplifying everything, we ended up with x power 11 plus y power 11 equal to 247 divided by 8 plus 1 over 32. And if we add these fractions, we ended up with x power 11 plus y power 11 equals to 989 divided by 32. So thus our x power 11 plus y power 11 value turns out to be 989 divided by 32. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.